I don't know how I'm alive, but I'm alive. This house was built by me. You know, it was a bungalow when I bought it. I, I built it into what I felt was a mansion. That's my house right there. It's a brand new roof I put on myself. Spider-Man room. He wanted the Spider-Man room. Getting the colors to match. That Spider-Man up on the wall, it took me hours to get that perfect. We went to sleep listening to the waves. We woke up and drank coffee looking at the ocean. It was beautiful here. You know, very wealthy people get that. Not middle class people like me. You know, I had no intention of ever leaving here. But now, the insurance money that I've gotten so far, it won't rebuild a house in New York City. You know. $250,000 doesn't rebuild a house in New York City anymore. Forget about rebuilding costs. You know, Christmas is coming. I don't see me coming back here. I think the best is to leave. How was your uh, second day at camp, Peach? Good. Do you like it? You know, we used to spend summers in the backyard enjoying what we had. Now we enjoy the world. You know, we'll, we'll, you know, the local world, you know, we'll go out, we'll go to a water park, we'll, you know, go up to the Poconos. Anything we can do to have a good time with the kids and make new memories after the storm. It's tough to come down here. I, uh, I try not to come down here anymore, you know. It, it doesn't affect me well. You see everything you lost. You, know, you see your life that was here and how much has changed in eight months. They built a road right out here. And they went out there with an excavator and they tore the house down. It was ripping down a piece of my life. You know, it was ripping down everything I worked for. You know, I think it took 16 trucks to take, that, take all the debris away. And they, took the, they tore the house completely down with all my belongings and you know, drove it out of here. I think they decided that this land probably should have never been built on. That it's too close to the ocean and we need more wetlands here. So they decided that they're going to convert this back to, a, uh, to nature. And they're going to buy the houses at fair market value. And we're just pretty much waiting for the appraisals now. <laughs>